All right, so the Raptors game got postponed today, so I thought that I would try to focus on a positive news story because there have been a lot of postponed games, a lot of guys entering health and safety protocol. I mean, the latest is Gary Trent Jr. now joining Siakam and Delano Banton. So I wanted to talk about former Raptor and a guy who is having an unbelievable season, an MVP type season, and that is DeMar DeRozan. I got a chance to watch a lot of the Bulls-Lakers game from Sunday night, and DeMar DeRozan put on a show once again, showing that he is the king of the mid-range game in today's NBA. DeMar DeRozan, he was incredible. I mean, he had 38 points, 19 of which were scored in the fourth quarter, and he hit a mid-range shot over LeBron James, and you've probably seen the highlight by now. I tweeted about it. That was basically DeRozan, Putting LeBron in his place after all of those horrific LeBronto moments that he and the Raptors had to deal with back in the day. And it's crazy how clutch DeRozan has become and how much of a staple he has been in the fourth quarter. DeRozan is second in total fourth quarter points in the NBA this season. Number one is Jason Tatum. And you got to keep in mind, the Bulls basically missed a week because of health and safety protocol. And what's even more impressive is the fact that Zach Levine is in the top five. So the Bulls have two players in the top five that lead the league in fourth quarter scoring. So DeMar DeRozan is a man that's interesting to me because you look at DeRozan, I feel like a lot of people are raving on and on about him, but that just proves how underappreciated and how underlooked he was during his time in Toronto and even in San Antonio. I mean, this isn't new for a lot of Raptors fans. DeRozan did put together a lot of good regular season performances, and he was that guy that you could count on in the fourth quarter to get a key bucket. So the fact that DeRozan has now done this on a more national level with the Chicago Bulls and it is getting the attention that you know it deserves and rightfully so DeRozan is now being looked at like wow this guy can play DeRozan could always play that's the thing you know he could always light it up fill up a stat sheet especially when you needed a boost from your offense and I still can't believe that many people thought that DeMar DeRozan was one of the worst offseason pickups for the Chicago Bulls like that just tells you who doesn't watch basketball compared to who does. The Rosen I knew was going to be a great fit on this Bulls team. I knew he was going to gel with Zach Levine. Both of them have been magnificent together. And we're seeing what DeRozan has done now through the first couple of months of the season with the Chicago Bulls. And Lakers veteran Carmelo Anthony even said after the Bulls went over the Lakers, he said this, the fact that he utilizes the mid-range, a lot of people want to kind of discredit that part of the game. But I think that's a lost art. DeRozan is one of those guys who's mastered that. And at the end of the game, when you got to slow down and you got to run something, threes are not falling. You got to be able to get to that. He mastered that. He mastered his spots on the court. I think that's why he's very efficient, especially this season in the fourth quarter, specifically down the stretch. And again, Raptors fans are well aware of what DeRozan is capable of. And he's the team's all-time leading scorer by a wide margin. But his consistent play and leadership with his revamped Bulls team right now is turning heads around the league. And here's what I will say about DeMar DeRozan on the Bulls compared to DeMar DeRozan on the Toronto Raptors. I do think this is DeRozan's best chance of getting to an NBA Finals because you look at all those good seasons the Raptors had while DeRozan and Larry were here in Toronto. They always fell short. They did get to an Eastern Conference Finals, but there was one arch nemesis who was always standing in the way. And Raptors fans at that time always knew at the back of their head, yeah, the Raptors are having a great season, but they're going to come short. They're going to fall short of the mark of making the NBA Finals. Why? Because of LeBron James, the Raptors kryptonite for all those years. There's a reason why LeBron was so popular back then. LeBron was such a thorn in Raptors fans' sides. But now, you look at the Rosen in the East, there's no LeBron James. And this Bulls team, they've proven to beat anybody in the Eastern Conference, especially the team that many people have getting out of the East, the team that I have coming out of the East, and that is the Brooklyn Nets. I believe the Bulls have already beaten the Nets twice this season, and they were pretty convincing wins. So, given how the Bulls are currently constructed, given how the East looks... 
there is no real threat or big obstacle for the Bulls to overcome. I think if they can continue to gel as well as they have been, and DeRozan continues to take his game to the next level, this Bulls team will have a shot against any team in a seven-game series. So this, to me, is DeRozan's best chance to make an NBA Finals and to prove to people that he can be that guy in the fourth quarter in a playoff game. And that's what's going to lead me to this point. DeMar DeRozan, for as good as he's always been, regular season success, you know, coming up big in the fourth quarter, the one knock on his resume, I think, has always been his shortcomings in the playoffs. And Raptors fans know those shortcomings oh so well in the postseason. If DeMar DeRozan can erase those demons and he can show up in the playoffs with the Chicago Bulls this time around, I think that's going to be the thing that uplifts him to somebody who's legit and somebody who you cannot discredit as being a big-time all-star, even superstar player in the NBA. So DeMar DeRozan, he is going to be judged in the playoffs. We know he's going to continue to kill it in the regular season, and we know he's going to get his numbers and all that good stuff. It's the playoffs that I'm personally going to be looking for to see if DeRozan can step up and lead his team to the promised land, something that he wasn't able to do in Toronto. And again, granted, LeBron James was here. That is always tough to have anybody pass LeBron James in the East, especially since he ran these for all those years. But this is a year where I think the Bulls have a good chance. They got to stay healthy and people got to just continue to know their role and get better. But DeMar DeRozan, he's a great player, but he can ascend his greatness to a new level if he can do this in the playoffs and lead the Bulls to playoff wins. So that's what I'm going to say about DeMar DeRozan. But all in all, it's nice to see DeRozan have this type of success. And what's even better to see is the fact that DeRozan is getting nice recognition and he's getting national recognition. Like a lot of people are starting to realize Yeah, DeRozan isn't a scrub. Like, this dude can play. Yeah, we knew he could always play in Toronto. So the fact that he is finally getting the attention that he deserves, it's great. It is great for him. I'm happy for him, and uh, I am rooting for him. I mean, I'm not rooting for him when he plays the Raptors because, obviously, I want the Raptors to beat the Bulls anytime they meet each other. And by the way, the Raptors will be playing the Bulls on Wednesday, so this video is actually perfect timing. I think it's good for basketball to see this Bulls team do what they're doing. It's fresh blood. It's a good story. It's getting everybody excited, you know, non-Bulls fans, etc. And it's got the media talking. So DeMar DeRozan continues to turn heads with his great performances, especially in the fourth quarter. And we'll just see if he can continue this into the playoffs, which is something that I'm going to be looking for going down the stretch. So, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video on DeRozan. Let me know what your thoughts have been about DeRozan, Raptors fans, Bulls fans, NBA fans. Definitely drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you aren't new and ring the bell. I'll be back at it again, probably with a video tomorrow. If not, I will be live streaming Raptors, Bulls on Wednesday. So you definitely don't want to miss that. DeMar DeRozan, pretty good story right now.